What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL Week 11. Sleepers and studs. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna give you a sleeper pick and my favorite stud at each position. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, NFL week 11, let's take a look at the quarterback position. So my quarterback stud is Justin Herbert from the LA Chargers playing the New York Jets who have the sixth worst defense overall and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Justin Herbert has averaged 26.2 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 4.6 rush attempts per game. He scored 22, 26, and 23 fantasy points in the last three games. He's gonna be about 11% owned, projected at 22.4 fantasy points, here in week 11, he's 6,800 DraftKings salary and 1,700 more on FanDuel. So fantastic matchup here. Justin Herbert should be able to run all over the Jets. So I like Justin Herbert here versus the New York Jets. Okay, my sleeper pick at the quarterback position is Jameis Winston from the New Orleans Saints playing the Atlanta Falcons, who have the second worst defense overall, and they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Jameis Winston is coming in for the injured Drew Brees, and hey, we know this guy has rushing upside, and he's got a fantastic matchup this week. He's only gonna be about 1% owned, projected at 19.2 fantasy points here in week 11, and he's only 5,900 DraftKings salary and 1,300 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 52 points scored in this game with the Saints favored by four. So you got a fantastic matchup, a high scoring game, and a close competitive game. So I like Jameis Winston here versus the Atlanta Falcons. Okay, let's take a look at the running back position. My running back stud is Dalvin Cook from the Minnesota Vikings playing the Dallas Cowboys who have the third worst defense overall and they give up the ninth most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Dalvin Cook has averaged 28.7 fantasy points per game on the season getting an average of 21.8 rush attempts per game and 3.1 pass targets per game. He's gonna be about 41% owned, projected at 25.3 fantasy points here in week 11. He's 9,000 DraftKings salary and 1,500 more on FanDuel. So this is the clear cut running back stud versus a terrible defense. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 47.5 points scored in this game and they have the Vikings favored by seven. So a relatively close game here within a touchdown, but this has the makings of a running game script. Dalvin Cook could have one of those monster fantasy football games. So I like Dalvin Cook here versus the Dallas Cowboys. Now my sleeper pick at the running back position, it's from that same game on the other side of the ball. I like Ezekiel Elliott from the Dallas Cowboys playing the Minnesota Vikings, who have the eighth worst defense overall and their middle of the pack defending opposing running backs. Ezekiel Elliott has averaged 16.8 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 16.7 rush attempts per game and 5.4 pass targets per game. He's on the field for 79% of the snaps and he's only gonna be about 2% owned projected at 15.6 fantasy points here in week 11. He's 6,500 DraftKings salary and 1,500 more on FanDuel. 
So we know Vegas thinks there's going to be 47.5 points scored in this game with the Dallas Cowboys trailing by seven. But with the low ownership and the low price tag on Ezekiel Elliott, I think this is the game to play him in your lineups. He's getting over 20 touches per game. So I think he's bound to find the end zone. So I like Ezekiel Elliott here versus the Minnesota Vikings. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL. MLB is still going. NBA is right around the corner. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game, so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, moving on to the wide receiver position. So another player from that same game, you don't have to stack all these players together, but they're all in great spots here this week. So my wide receiver stud is Adam Thielen from the Minnesota Vikings playing the Dallas Cowboys who have the third worst defense overall and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Adam Thielen has averaged 17.4 fantasy points per game on the season getting an average of 7.2 pass targets per game. He's on the field for 92% of the snaps and he's going to be about 10% owned, projected at 16.1 fantasy points here in week 11. He's 6,300 DraftKings salary and 1,600 more on FanDuel. So fantastic matchup here. The Dallas Cowboys secondary gives up a ton of passing yards and a ton of touchdowns to the wide receiver position. Adam Thielen should be able to carve up that Dallas defense. Now, just don't forget about Justin Jefferson, the other wide receiver from the Vikings. His salary is a little bit lower, and he got more pass targets last game and scored more fantasy points. But his ownership is going to be about 18% compared to Adam Thielen, who's going to be around 10%. So although Justin Jefferson has the better cornerback matchup, I still like Adam Thielen here versus the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, my sleeper pick at the wide receiver position is DJ Chark from the Jacksonville Jaguars playing the Pittsburgh Steelers, who have a good defense overall, but they give up the eighth most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. DJ Chark has averaged 14.2 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 7.3 pass targets per game. He's on the field for 83% of the snaps, and he's only going to be about 2% owned. Projected at 13.3 fantasy points here in week 11, and he's only 5,700 DraftKings salary and 500 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 46 points scored in this game, with the Jacksonville Jaguars trailing by 10.5. So great matchup here, and it's going to be a passing game script. So I like DJ Chark here versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, who do we have at the tight end position? My tight end stud is Hunter Henry from the LA Chargers playing the New York Jets who have the sixth worst defense overall and they give up the eighth most fantasy points to opposing tight ends. Hunter Henry has averaged 9.7 fantasy points per game on the season getting an average of 6.6 .6 pass targets per game. He's on the field for 89% of the snaps, and he's going to be about 9% owned. Projected at 11.2 fantasy points here in week 11, he's 4,600 DraftKings salary and 900 more on FanDuel. So great matchup here. The Jets are an awful defense. Hunter Henry's been getting consistent pass targets consistent production although he hasn't had a huge game recently he did score 13 fantasy points 
off of six pass targets last game. I expect those targets and production to continue here in this matchup. So I like Hunter Henry here versus the New York Jets. Okay, and my tight end sleeper pick is Hayden Hurst from the Atlanta Falcons playing the New Orleans Saints who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they give up the fifth most fantasy points to opposing tight ends. Hayden Hurst has averaged 10.7 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of six pass targets per game. But he scored 13, 10, and 13 fantasy points in the last three games off of eight, seven, and seven pass targets. He's on the field for 74% of the snaps, and he's only going to be about 3% owned. Projected at 9.9 .9 fantasy points here in week 11. And he's 4,400 DraftKings salary and 1,100 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 52 points scored in this game with the Falcons trailing by four. So it's a great matchup and a passing game script and a high scoring game. So I like Hayden Hurst here versus the New Orleans Saints. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NFL slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.